Hi guys, it's Nico from Yanimize. Today we got GTR right behind me. So this car is gonna have cr have chrome blue at the back and the front, and it's gonna be yellow. I think this one's gonna go crazy, and this one's gonna have some shape like a Bugatti, like this. That door. And L knew it as well, you <laughs> So the GTR's just come in. Spoiler, gonna be a pain, but um, we can make it work. Reason being because of the clips underneath, they're really tough. Back bumper. It's not that it's tricky, but there's so many bolts and screws, man. It's like, uh, oof. That is it's crazy. It's oof. That's all I've got to say. Oof. The whole under tray underneath has to come out from the inside as well. All the carpet and everything's got to come out. So it actually shuts and returns as well. So yeah, doors will be coming off. You have to go the extra mile. Yeah, that's that's the word I'm looking for. This car is actually looking all right now. Looking at the wheels, the caliper, I think it's trying to mix the caliper and the wheels to match the color. So the Lamborghini Urus is complete in hope green. I'm gonna be honest, this car looks better than mine. Um, he's got the camo carbon, got the green calipers and the bronze wheels. Now, what's quite interesting, Mark said this, if you look at the green calipers and the bronze wheels and you put them together, you get the wrap color. The customer got this bang on the money, which means I need to change the color of my car. But for now, have a look at this. Could be one of the best out there. Mr. Sharp, you done well. And to rub it in, he's got the better key. Even though my car's pretty new, it's like six months old. It's just all going wrong. I might sell mine just to get a better key. So it is a big wheel. It's not my extra small hands. It's a big wheel. It's a big wheel. Okay hey guys, so I've just finished up uh, wrapping the front end of this GTR in satin energetic yellow. Uh, the boys are now working on the back of the car doing the chrome blue. The colour itself, satin chrome, is uh, a little bit different to what I'm used to working with because when you're heating and stretching, you can't stretch too much because it'll leave white patches. So you just got to be careful basically and especially with this car and all the tight edges, you've got all the tight corners to go around. Hi guys, um, as you can see, we got this blue Audi R8 V10 in the workshop. This one's having loads of work done on it. Um, all the grey bits around the car. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of all the grey bits on the car. So we've got this air intake up here. We've got the, the panel that goes on the quarter, the side skirts, the front and rear bumpers, all gonna go gloss black. Against the satin, normally looks really good. So it's 
Friday lunchtime. Um, it's very windy outside. I just cleaned my car and guess what's next to it? There's another facelip R8 there. Um, it's looking nice. Which one do you prefer? The new one or the old one? But yeah, I still love my one. Right, Audi R8 complete in satin black with the rose gold wheels. Very different look for the Audi R8. I've never seen an Audi R8 with rose gold wheels before or badges to be fair. So make sure you comment down below and let us know what you think. See that little Yan ending? <laughs> <laughs> So you're probably wondering what's going on here. Essentially, I walked into the unit just to film something and the guys were arguing over the definition of a car meet. So I called my boy Gus, told him bring the camera down, let's interview the guys and see what they got to say. So me and Kieran are having a conversation, however everyone here thinks the complete opposite. In Kieran's eyes and Eamon's eyes, they believe that you meeting up in a car park with some of your friends that have cars or drive is a car park. How would that make sense? I don't know. What's your opinion the on The car meet thing? Yeah. It's not a car meet bro, no way. Car meets are normally organised, aren't they? So if it's an organised meet, then yeah, you can call it a car meet. If you're just pulling up at a car park with five, ten of your boys, I mean, that's not a car meet. You and your friends meet up. In a car park, is that technically a car meet? No. <laughs> yes. How's that a car meet? I think they should carry on with their work, stop talking. No, if you're um, just meeting up in a car park, it's not really a car meet, is it? It's just people meeting up in a car park. Like if you go to Tesco's, you're going to Tesco's. So if we all sit on the M25 in a traffic jam, is that a car meet? <laughs> we're all sitting in cars. <laughs> no, no, that's different. It's the same as having a party and going to a club. You're partying in both, but a club is organised. Therefore, a club is like everyone can come to that. Everyone knows about it. Everyone knows on Saturday at this place, this is going to be happening. But if you're just meeting up, you wouldn't call that like, oh, yeah, I'm so waiting. So, Gus is trying to say, Gus is basically on our side. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. Is he basically? No. <laughs> 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 I figured that one out. It's not all yeah. that. No, that's all I need to Meeting, that's the word there. Meeting up. In cars. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> Call me, I'm done. The only meeting up you're going to have is upstairs in Yan's office. You yeah. don't care who's cleaning that car. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> So I was just speaking to the customer on the phone about the GTR. One of the things we addressed was uh, having the Blue Square recruitment logos on the car. Uh, so originally we were going to have uh, logos on the rear of the car, but as you can tell, because of the spacing between the number plates around and where the boot ends, there, there's not enough of a space there to fit his logo uh, without it looking squashed. We did give him other options, or we suggested other options. He suggested the bonnet, but personally, uh, I think it takes away from the look of the vehicle if you go on the bonnet. I then feel it's, there's too much going on. Um, so we, we both come to the conclusion uh, to kind of just stick with the sides and, and leave it there. <laughs> GTR is complete. Half energetic yellow, half chrome blue, and obviously the, the Chiron-esque style. Um, it's for Blue Square Recruitment and a guy called Dave. Dave GTR. How cool does this car look? It's great for advertising, it's great for branding, and it's complete. I'm really pleased with it. If you'd said these two colors together before they were put on the car, I'd been like, they definitely don't work, but now they do. So good luck to him. I'm glad he's happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care.